In this video, I'm going to walk through solving three of the exercises from recent lectures. First, the teenager problem. This is from lecture six. Here we have some data definitions for person and Boolean. Note that Booleans are either true or false and aren't strings. We've already got a signature, a purpose, and a header for teenagers. Let's write some examples. This example should produce false. Now we have three examples. Let's move on to the template step. Finally, let's solve our problem. We're not going to need the name of the person. We'll just delete that. What we are going to do is compare the name of the person to the ages 13 and 19. It needs to be within those two ages, inclusive, so we'll use less than or equal to. And now we're done. If we comment out teenager, we can run our program successfully. Now let's solve the next problem, the move point. Let's first recall our data definition and structure definition for points. Now we have our data definitions, let's move on to step two. One thing to emphasize here is it takes a point and produces a point, not more than one value. Now let's write some examples. Now we have some examples, let's follow our template. Our template looks very similar to the template for person. Now let's finish by constructing a point and adding one to each coordinate. And now we're done and we can run our program. Now let's solve our third problem, reset to red. There's our data definition, now let's move on to step two. Now let's write some examples. These are all the examples we could possibly need because there's only three possibilities for traffic light. Now let's think about our template. We could write the full conditional template for traffic light, but we're just going to think about a simpler template where we just remember that we have TL available. Now let's write our function. Our example should give us the hint that we always want to produce red, so we're just going to change our program to do that immediately. Now we're done and we can run our program. There we have the three larger functions that we needed to define for the last two lectures last week, and we saw how to work them out. 